Tonight we have the opportunity to explore our capacity to be at ease with who we are in this moment, to be at ease with what is happening. And it's a capacity we all have, it's something we can discover in us, this really soft, kind space. like uh, diving into the depths of our own being, which is also the depths of this moment, the stillness. So usually we we live our life often in this uh, in this contracted state, (coughs) being fixated on the content of our experience, (coughs) the thoughts we have, the feelings we have, the stories we tell ourselves. And we take it very personal and very important. And it, it seems like even often we feel it's like a, a solid, it's a solid state, like a concrete state. It's like locking ourselves in, in a prison which we self-create by believing the stories we tell. And then there is always then there is then then there we, we have these moments of grace where that opens, where we discover, wow, I make this up. And that does not mean then that it disappears, because we still have to pay our bills or we have to renovate the flat, or whatever it is. But we are able to do it with more ease, more easy going. And it's, uh, it's very empowering to discover this capacity, this space, which is our true nature. Because then we have a sense that no matter what will happen in my life, I will be able to be with it. Not in the sense I will not have feelings, but I will be able to be with it. I will be able to be with my feelings. And to to discover, to recognize the space I'm talking about, this way of being, we don't need to do anything. We we don't need to understand what I'm saying right now. We don't need to go somewhere to a cave, or we don't need to It's here, it's revealing itself. It's like uh, noticing suddenly the scent of silence, the scent of stillness, which is there all the time, but suddenly, ah, something in me resonates with 
what I right now talk about. You don't understand what I'm talking about, but uh, something <coughs> resonates. It's like diving into the space where you are very, very much yourself in a sense, but yourself beyond stories, beyond male and female even, beyond name, beyond being a human being, but there, there's like something where you really, really yourself. But I'm talking about yourself before you were born. And I know that many of you feel that strong longing, that strong longing to to return to that place. It's that longing which brought you to you know, all the yoga places, and all the stuff you do and you have done before. And what is beautiful is to discover that we can kind of slide into it in a place like this, where we come together with the same intention. So the intention of all of you coming here together, that creates a field where we can, where we, where we, where we just, just by bringing ourselves to places like this, It it kinds of it, it right. It's just like bringing yourself into a certain radiance, into a certain vibration. It happens through connecting with others. happens when we open to the presence of each other. And then when we sit quietly, then uh, yeah, we will also notice these moments where we close that space, where it appears like that we close that space. And then there's these beautiful moments where you let go and you just allow yourself to be, not trying to get somewhere else. And even if you touch that openness, just like in little, you know, in little... That's so beautiful, that's so wonderful. And then you can really uh, let it fill your body, let it fill your heart. Knowing that when you touch that space, you also touch everyone here.
So I invite you to be here without any pressure. And just And we don't need to be afraid that we lose our capacity to control and fix and trying to get somewhere. It, it, it's, uh, it's not, but we can, we can give ourselves a break. Discovering the healing power of that stillness. which is a very alive stillness, and it is also a very kind stillness. It's also from that place where your, your beautiful capacity to be warm to other people comes from. Also your, your happiness when you, when you touch that space of softness, of kindness towards others. It's, it's so beautiful that it makes us happy to be kind. That it makes us happy to forgive, to share. can also happen when we sit quietly like this that it feels a little weird because we're usually used to come to a place and you know and we want to learn something to get better at something like maybe getting better at mindfulness or uh, learning some 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 <coughs> steps some some models you know trying to figure out what mindfulness is. And it's weird to come to a place where where, where we play with that we don't need to struggle. 